A socialite Kanyimbao is one of the few people who freely admit that they lightened their skin. As one who has worked the path before, she decided to give a short and informative lesson on her Instagram stories for those who might want to do the same. A high tea squad and welcome to the tea world. She named it the art of skin lightening. First, Kanye listed the disadvantages, which are it's a risk to one's health, very expensive and a lifetime of experimenting. You are going against what your body is created to do. Your body is built to produce melanin and you are destroying its blueprint. So the cost becomes higher because you need to work twice as hard to keep it functional and alive. The former actress said, A tea squad to those wondering why they do it. Kanye said it was the same reason why people dye their hair blonde when they know that peroxide damages hair. A tea squad Kanye continued by saying, Just like how the body needs different types of foods and minerals, you cannot use one product. Your skin does get dominant towards a certain product. That's why you see us chop and change suppliers. It's not to confuse you or because the product has failed. In summary, T-Squad, she was just saying, skin products work differently depending on the season and the skin type. And Kanyimbao added that every two years or so, people should give their skin a break from the products and go dark. Lastly, she said you should tell your men what color you honestly are. A tea squad, have you ever thought of skin lightening? And if you have, what is stopping you? And for those who are not interested in skin lightening, why? Next story. A tea squad, it seems the third COVID-19 wave is here and our hospitals are unequipped to handle it, just as they were for the first and second wave. A TV presenter and medical doctor, Mosam Tumbeni, took to Twitter to warn his followers to take more care in protecting themselves against the virus because hospitals are full. A private hospitals are full. A public hospitals are nearly there too. Buckle up, he said. Now, many did not believe him and thought he had been paid to say so. Some asked why he did not name the hospitals so people could verify his claim or not waste their time going there. At his squad, Musa added this to highlight how dire the situation is getting. I just walked into one of the hospitals I work at, a respiratory, area where patients come into hospital with breathing issues. There are at least 50 people being treated. This isn't a ward. This is an admission area. At his squad, others agreed with him and shared their experiences at hospitals that are struggling to deal with the number of people requiring their help. Many blamed the government for not preparing when the second wave gave them a reprieve. A tea squad, please look after yourself. Be safe and take all the precautions that you need to. Tea squad, let's move right to the next story. And it's about Mitlali Ndamase, not impressed. A beauty vlogger, Mitlali Ndamase, weighed in on a conversation about service delivery in Deben. One trip started the conversation when she said, Lol, in Deben we can't even be treated right at a restaurant. Many other people agreed with her and added that only white people and celebrities got good service. Michalinda Masi, who one would expect would be treated as a celebrity, also had the same experience. The service in Deben is appealing from Uber drivers, waiters, hairstylists, makeup artists. Everyone in service there just sucks, she tweeted in agreement. At his squad, the influencer then took the discussion to Instagram and asked her fans to wear in. She also added a few questions for Deben business owners. Now, my question is, why aren't business owners fixing this? Or they simply don't care too about how their staff treat clients. 
There are literally hair salons known for having bad service in Durban. I too have been there and experienced it firsthand. It's so disappointing. Then afterwards, they will ask you to take them. A whole entire joke, Shem. She also said she would not do so because they would ill treat her followers or are neither white nor celebrities. A T squad, Miklali also said she would not do so because they will ill treat her followers who are neither white nor celebrities, ruining her credibility as a content creator. If you are a Debenite or have visited Deben, please let me know if you think this is true and do share your experience. A T squad, can we just discuss Mabinche's new look for a minute? A T squad, could this be that the picture was taken by the latest iPhone or the filter used or was it just a great lightning or maybe it's marriage glow? This is the discussion trips had after I'm a piano musician Mambincha uploaded a photo of himself. It's been a minute since he has been spotted and Trips wondered, was it because he wanted a big reveal? In his most recent picture, Mampincha is rocking a beard T-squad and looks way lighter. He asked what people thought of his new look. One woman urged men to follow the musician's lead and grow beards. Guys, grow beards, it's like a weave, a whole transformation, she said. At his squad, others were just stuck on how light he looked. Some trolled his glow up and said his skin routine was lemon water and GBV. Some just downright refused to believe it was him because they knew him has also lost noticeable weight. Which Mabincha do you prefer, T-Squad? I would love to hear your thoughts on this one. At his squad, while we're still thinking and looking at Mabinche's pictures, how about we talk about Vini? 19-year-old Ama Piano sensation, Uncle Vini is probably the most popular teenager in Mzanzi right now. Just a few months ago, he closed down the streets of Bramfontein as young people flooded the area without mask for his birthday despite the pandemic. However, people are worried the fame is getting to his head when he threw a bottle into the crowd he was performing for. At his squad, major leagues at DJs posted a video of the youngster entertaining a crowd and as usual, his performance was energetic. He delivered some of his signature dance moves and the crowd went crazy. However, he then grabbed a water bottle that he threw into the crowd. One trip decided to call him to order. Guys, we love you, but respect your supporters. Why is your Vinny throwing bottles at people? The disrespect. No man, the trip said. At his squad, what are your thoughts on all these stories that I've just served to you? Not so long ago, Enchambali and her ex-husband, DJ Black Coffee, were the talk of the town. After Enkle accused him of not paying their electricity bill, leaving her and their two sons in darkness. An accusation that Black Coffee denied, saying he had given her money to take care of the bills. A fast forward to last week. The international DJ once again trended for his expensive taste in clothes. This time it was a yellow sweater he was rocking that is estimated to be priced 44,000 rand. But this is nothing new for him. At his squad a few days ago, Enkembali posted a picture looking like a goddess in a champagne colored dress. The dress's price is an estimated 50,000 rand. To many people, it seemed as if Enkle was competing against her ex. And instead of her trending for how gorgeous she looked, she trended for being a typical slay queen who would rather buy expensive clothes than buy electricity for her and her children. Others accused her of wanting to tarnish Black Coffee's image and called her dramatic for using candles when she can clearly afford to pay the bill. What do you think, T-Squad? Do leave your comments down below. I love you.